This is my epoxy resin beach diorama set in the Pacific during World War II. Starting with a wooden plank, I painted it with Green Stuff World's blue tones, gradually getting darker in the deeper part of the Pacific. Foam was used to create the beach. After placing the foam on the wood, I then used a hot wire foam cutter to create the landscape. The foam is covered with gesso to prevent the epoxy or anything else getting through, the same as the wood plank off cup. Beach shells collected from the local beach were sorted to get smaller ones to create the reef out from the beach. These were glued on using CA glue. To create the palm tree trunks used as barricades along the beach, I used regular food skewers, cotton and glue. Glue was pasted along the skewer, then using the cotton, it was wrapped around each skewer. Glue was rubbed over the top of the cotton to keep it in place. After this was all completed, each skewer was painted using brown tones to create a traditional palm tree trunk. As a base for the beach sand, I used AK's substance I painted that all over the foam. Once completed and dried, I then dabbed it using some kitchen paper towel to create a sand texture and cover over the brush strokes. The palm tree trunk skewers were then cut into lengths and placed across the beach in accordance with the photos from World War II. The pointy ends came in handy. They were pushed in through the foam base. CA glue held them in place. Some more of the OK sand mixture was put across the beach to create a more realistic effect. To prepare the, for the epoxy resin, I placed perspex along the side and glued it on with all-purpose adhesive. I used the gel version, being careful not to come up into where the epoxy resin will be. After sticking the perspex on, I also used some hot glue and some cheap cellophane tape. Epoxy resin was 50-50, so very easy to use, plus a few drops of blue dye. All of these were purchased from Amazon. The initial pour was 600 mils, and I poured three lots of layers to complete the whole of the ocean. Using a plastic spoon, I pushed it to the edges and then used a hot glue gun to get rid of any of the bubbles. 
This was left to dry for at least 24 hours. While it's drying, I put a plastic bag over the top to keep any dust off. To create the Sherman tank out in the water, I used the Airfix kit. This was very simple and went together well. The tank was weathered and then sprayed using clear lacquer. White alcohol ink and casting white paint was used to create the initial undercurrent waves or swirls in white. These were to show the reef water and the swirling of the ocean underneath. This was left to set. I then used some sand from the local hardware shop that was glued over the top of the AK colour using Mod Podge. Another air fix kit US Marines in 176 scale were used for the figures. The figures were initially washed, sanded and the uniform colours checked, undercoating then followed by various tones of khaki, the boat in grey. These were then given a final coat of matte varnish before placed on the diorama. Historic photos were checked to ensure placement was correct. The figures were then glued on using UV resin. The two final layers of epoxy resin were then added to the diorama using the same blue tint. A final layer of ultra thin clear epoxy resin was added to the top. I left that for half an hour before pouring to make sure it was thicker. I then smoothed it round with my finger to ensure it was covering the whole surface before adding the final waves of white. The final white waves were done in sections. A bit of white paint and white ink was placed down before being blown with the blowgun, heated blowgun and any bubbles with the heat gun. The breaking waves out near the coral reef were also done in the same manner.
To create the waves breaking on the shoreline, I use UV resin. I did this in sections, holding the UV light to seal the flow of the water. Bullets hitting the water were also created and it was painted with white and then glossy varnish. To create a more weathered looking beach, I used some brown pigment powder. Finally, to make the sand look more realistic, I added a few more patches of raised lumps of sand fixed with sand and gravel fixer. The last step is to remove the perspex and the hot glue. This came off fairly well. I used a Jofix brand palm tree, connecting leaves to a wire that stuck in through the top. Small holes were drilled to put the wire through. A separate piece of larger wire was placed under the base and put in through the foam. These are dried tea leaves. They were used for debris along the beach. I think they look really effective. I was really pleased with the epoxy resin water and wave effect. It created a really dramatic diorama that was super realistic. I look forward to creating more.